some hair, huh? Now I put this on my line. Nobody or nothing will ever come between us, and I promise I'll give my life, my love, and my trust. I, I didn't start. I'm about to start right now. Mm. <laughs> Good morning. So I, I wake up with these songs in my head, and like I literally cannot get them out. So I was singing. Bonnie and Clyde by Jay-Z and Beyonce, which is one of my favorite songs of all time. And then I was singing this Spanish song. I don't know if anybody out there listens to Spanish music ever, but there's a song by Sergio Vargas that I used to listen to all the time. It's so old, but it goes like this. I'll, I won't sing a lot for you, but it goes, Madre mía, deja de llorar. Te muy pronto quiero, quiero regresar. Voy en busca de mi porvenir. Anyway, I woke up in, with it in my head and I just cannot get it out of my head. Um, so all day I'll be singing that. Um, so how's everybody doing? Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to Coffee Talk. Let's get right into the basketball game last night, okay? Here's the thing. I totes appreciate LeBron. He's a fantastic basketball player. I don't think that needs to be up for debate. I also appreciate Kevin Durant. And people used to think Kevin Durant was soft. I knew Kevin Durant was a superstar. I knew he was an MVP. Steph Curry, amazing basketball player. Probably one of the greatest shot uh, players of all time. But here is the thing. Nobody is better than Michael Jordan. Let me say it for people in the back. Nobody is better than Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan is the greatest all-around basketball player of all time. He's the GOAT. He's the best. He never choked. Six and zero. He's the best. He's the best. He's the best. Then people go, Jamie, that's your generation. No, that's a fact. That's not my generation. That's a fact. Okay? Stats don't lie. And he played college ball. Listen, people go, well, he had superstars on his team. Eh, do not penalize Michael Jordan for being surrounded by good players. I'm just saying, Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player of all time. It does not take away from the Cavs or the Warriors or LeBron, or Steph Curry, or, or, or Kobe Bryant, all amazing basketball players. Amazing, but not the greatest of all time. You can be amazing and not the greatest of all time. And I love all the mad faces. Y'all could be mad at me all day. Listen, I still love you and you still love me, okay? And some, And the truth is this. There are people right now who will argue with me that Kendrick Lamar is the greatest rapper of all time. And I will explain to you that Tupac is the greatest rapper of all time. It, it, it is just what it is. Uh, St Steph Curry is not a better basketball player than Michael Jordan. I love you, but it's not possible. It's not physically possible. Okay? And if you go back to the stats from the 95-96 Chicago Bulls, you will understand Stats don't lie. They just don't. And he never choked. Uh, we don't have to beat a dead horse. Or a goat. <laughs> I'm very happy for the Golden State Warriors. Absolutely great series. What a way to uh, win the series. Awesome, 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 awesome. Um, yes, I'm old. Yes, I'm 40. Yes, I still remember the days of the 95, 96 Chicago Bulls. Yes, I still believe Tupac is the greatest rapper of all time. You, I think Kendrick is a great rapper, but you cannot argue with facts. Okay. And I kind of feel bad for this generation because they, they don't have the 95, 96 Bulls. They don't understand the electricity. Like they never had Biggie or Tupac. Like they don't, like they get Migos who sings like Crockpot, Stoppot. Sucking on the dot, 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 dot. I don't even know what that means. I can't even understand that. Tupac was prolific. I mean, Tupac had 
I mean, a New Yorker believing that California was love. I mean, that is just, ah. Okay, anyway. Um, and you're right. Everyone is, it's Trish, thank you. Everybody's entitled to their opinion, except it is fact that Michael Jordan was the greatest basketball player of all time. Okay. Um, um, okay. So, I, Barbara, I love you. Okay. So let's talk about moves, the moves we're making in our life. This is probably one of the most important coffee talks I will ever do. Okay? So many people I know are making moves in their life just to move. They're making moves in their life just to move. And they do not understand why the change that they are praying for is not coming. They do not understand why they're saying to me, Jamie, I'm making moves. I'm doing what you said. I'm getting brave. I'm making moves. But the change that I'm praying for every day is not coming. And I say, are the moves you're making intentional? Are they specific to the goals that you have set for yourself and the life that you want to live? Because if you are simply moving from side to side, and you are not moving forward, you may be moving, but you're not gonna go anywhere. Movement does not bring you forward. Only forward movement brings you forward. In life is not willy nilly. You can't just two step. This ain't a backyard barbecue. Step in the name of love. Step in the name of love. No, you can't just move back and forth. You've got to be intentional and you got to move forward. And you can't be afraid to say the next move I make is going to be this. I'll give you an example. Okay. My girlfriend who I love, Joelle, Joelle is here. She's, she's getting her son ready. Um, my girlfriend wants certain things for her life. She wants to get married. She wants to start a juicing business. She wants to move out of New Jersey. All these things she wants to do, okay? Um, she talks to me about why she's not any closer to those things. But I'm doing what you said, Jamie. I'm doing what you said. I'm, I'm, I'm getting out of my comfort zone. I'm trying different things, I'm blah, blah, blah. I said to her, well, okay, but what are the steps you are taking to be intentional for the things that you want to do? For example, you want to move out of New Jersey. The first thing you need to do very specifically is save money for that. What is your money saving plan? I get that you got a second job, but what is your money saving plan? See, you got a second job, but what's the money saving plan? You step into the left, but you're not stepping forward. She was like, oh, right. So the moves you're making make you feel like you are closer to the life you want to live, but you're not going anywhere. She was like, okay, keep going. I got it. Okay, you want to move out of New Jersey. You got a second job. Great, you step to the left. How do you step forward? You make a money-saving plan. You write it down. You stick to it. You hold yourself accountable. Now we're moving forward, okay? You want to start a juicing business. What are you doing besides drinking juices? Do you have a business plan? Are you buying the right equipment? Are you learning how to do it? Are you studying what other people are doing who are successful? Like what moves are you making to move forward with that? You want to get married, but you're dating the same kind of man. Granted, you date rich men who could give you a good life, but you do that because you're afraid. You do that because part of you wants a man to take care of you because you're scared. And I get the fear. Believe me, I get it. I watched my father die when I was 17 years old. My mother was 43, only three years older than me with four children and did not know how to balance a checkbook. I understand fear. I watched that woman sit at the kitchen table night after night, staring at my father's empty seat at the kitchen table, drinking, going, 
What do I do, Lou? What do I do? I don't know how to do this. That's real. So I understand fear. But you've got to stop moving left and right and convincing yourself that you are making intentional strategic moves to move your life forward. Stepping left, stepping left, right, great. It's You're warming up. You're just warming up. You're stretching your legs. You have got to make intentional moves that are rooted in purpose to move your life forward. That is a fact. That is a fact. You cannot go forward stepping left and right. You have to be intentional about the goals that you set for yourself. I wanted to write movies. I came up with a great idea. Great, that's a step to the left. Amazing, Jamie, great idea. There are a million people stepping to the left with great ideas. You gotta write it down. What was my intentional plan for that? I started setting my alarm and getting up an hour before everybody else in my house, miserable, dragging ass, making coffee at 5.30 in the morning when everybody was sleeping and sitting down in front of the computer going, write one page. That's all you have to do is write one page. That is an intentional step to getting closer to, I was so tired of stepping to the left. I was the girl with all the ideas who could never make any intentional moves to move forward. I talked about improving my life. I talked about being a different person. But what was I doing to get there? People say to me, Jamie, why do you do coffee talk every day? Even when you're on vacation, even on Christmas, even when Michael's grandfather died, even blah, blah, blah. Why do you do coffee talk every single day? And I say, because it is an intentional move to keep my life moving forward in the, the, for, toward the life I want to live. That is a fact. If you are making movement in your life, but nothing is changing, it's because you're only going left and right. You are literally the guy at the barbecue. Step in the name of love. Step in the name of love. That's what you're doing. Left, right. Left, right. You got to move forward. You got to move forward. Be intentional with the moves that you are making in your life and you will see your life propel forward. And that is a fact. And this Coffee Talk Dawn works for kids, works for teenagers, works for adults. Because the, if you start making, intentional moves become habit too because the more confident you get in making intentional moves, the more natural it becomes for you. And that is a fact. Uh, hold on, let's do our Wounded Warriors. Before I forget, the Wounded Warriors, not the Golden State Warriors, they ain't wounded. And by the way, showing up for Coffee Talk every morning is an intentional move. That is an intentional move. There are some people who write me and say, I can't get brave enough to do anything else in my life, Jamie, but I get up every day and I watch Coffee Talk because it makes me think, it makes me feel like I'm not alone, it's good for my mind, it's good for, you know, and I'm like, I get it. I totes get it. Um, all right, I have to, um, I was invited to be one of the judges for the Atlanta Hawks cheerleading tryouts. And I couldn't do all of the tryouts because I was in Miami. Um, but there is some things I have to do for them today. So I'm gonna drive over to Atlanta just for the day. So I'm gonna get dressed, take the dog for a walk, and then get on the road. Um, but I love you. Somebody needs to hear this. Can you please share this video? Share the video and say, somebody needs to know why they're going left and right. They're trying to go straight. This is why. Um, I love you guys so much today. Have a great, great day.